Feral's overextend herself in his first step then. This is a danger which his opponent didn't take advantage of. Feral's is very enthusiastic and this is something which he has to go and try and control a bit because he, in the process he expends far too much energy. His opponent there tried to drop Sinagi, that's something we approve of because of the damage to the knees. We also have a problem here that the camera person um, has decided to hold the camera sideways which makes life a little bit harder. Feral's um, in the process of all that frenetic energy has used too much too quick and is risking burning lactic acid as a consequent result of a stitch. Uh, throughout this contest we'll have to contend with the cameraman uh, waving the camera in unfortunate angles, which I apologise. At that point, Feroz was thrown, I believe, for Rosari. Upon restarting, we see much the same, although Feroz is trying to go a little bit more cautious in the way he's handling the opponent. Uh, but again, he's taken back there for Yuka. My arms are, I think, from filming. Look. <laughs> By now, both contestants have slowed down rather, probably because they spent too much energy in the first part of the contest. Uh, Feroz's opponent keeps on attempting to drop Sianagis, and of course if he fails on three consecutive attacks at this, he will be penalised for Shido. Now Feroz attempts one even though he's not been taught it. Um, as we come into the final moments of this contest, the Feroz is taken over from what would by itself count as an Ippon with a very good uh, throw, albeit a drop technique. Feroz comes to his feet, you can see how exhausted he is by the way he walks and he seems to be barely able to stand properly. Uh, and in fact, immediately after rowing, it's clear that uh, he does need an urgent rest. What's wrong with him? Does he get strangled? No. 